this 1985 Mercedes-Benz 380 SE is absolutely gorgeous. It's diamond blue in colour with cream leather interior and it's done just over 126,000 kilometres since it was brand new and has a documented service history. The car drives perfectly. The air conditioning is nice and cold, the gearbox is silky smooth and the same as the engine. The engine starts, drives beautifully as you would expect especially with such low kilometres. So it starts up. The odometer is working obviously, sometimes people ask. The timber works in excellent condition. The radio works. It's got cruise control. Electric seats, which is a great option to have. A sunroof. And I think diamond blue with cream interior is the best colour combination to have. The aircon's already cold. Really is a special car. If you go online and you look at 380 SE and SELs, they've got, whoops, they've got 300, 400, a minimum of 200,000 kilometres. I think this will easily, easily be the lowest kilometre 380 SE in the country and it's Australian delivered. If you do find a car with very low kilometres please ask the question because I think you'll find it's a personal import and the kilometres just aren't genuine or it may even be in miles. The paintwork is excellent, it's got the original plates on it since brand new it even had the original Sanderson's number plate frame, which unfortunately in the detail um, got changed over. But it does have the original plate from when it was sold, in, which is great. It's very original. I don't think you'd spend a single dollar on this car. The tyres are good. It's got plenty of registration till July. 2017 and I, I drove it um, for some time and I sort of had an expectation which is usually that it's going to need something. The air conditioning won't be cold, it'll take four seconds to go into reverse and require a gearbox, the suspension will be bouncy, there'll be cracks in the day. I don't know, I thought there'd be something but there was just nothing at all on this car which needed to be done. The dash doesn't have any cracks in it at all which is something to look for on any 126. There was an update which came out in 86 and a further update in late 88 which got soft leather and an airbag and they were great looking cars. But this was the, the original 126. The 380 engine was regarded as a very good engine. Some mechanics have even said it's, it was, it's actually a better engine than the 420. I don't know why. Um, it's just what I've been told, but it's got plenty of power, it sounds fantastic. It's a 126 series with 126,000 kilometres. It's got the original wheels, and it's one of those cars I can't stop looking at it. It looks absolutely beautiful, and whether you want to buy it and drive it every day, which I think would be a shame, to buy a low kilometre special car like this and just put 20,000 kilometres on it a year, you can if you like. But this is a car, I think you could put it on, in a shed, in a garage, you know, put on club registration, drive it a thousand or two thousand kilometres a year, and look, you may even do quite well. It could actually go up in value because in all the cars now with three and four hundred thousand kilometres, where are they going to be in ten years? I'd say they're probably going to be in a scrap heap. There's going to be very few on the road. There's certainly not going to be very many with a hundred and twenty or a hundred and fifty thousand kilometres. But it's a very impressive car, very original. It's always been in Sydney. It has the, the logbook fully stamped right through, all the way through. And uh, if you have any specific questions about this car, please give us a call. You can ask for myself, Philip. Um, it does have the original radio, and uh, I think it's a car which really needs to be inspected to be appreciated for what it is. It's a very nice car indeed.
Thanks so much for watching.